film it. All right, I'm gonna <clears throat> compare these two juggernauts. Now, on the left we have our King Cobra, it has an IBO, suggested IBO of around 370 feet per second. On the right we have a DEFCON 6, and it has a suggested IBO of 360. The one on the left is supposed to be 29 inches in draw length, and the one on the right is supposed to be 28 and a half. The one on the right also has a kisser button, while the one on the left doesn't. So there's quite a few factors that don't make this an apples to apples comparison. So it's not really a fair fight for the DEF CON 6. However, I know I want to shoot them both and compare them side by side, and so I'm going to go ahead and do so. The other thing I should mention is these, um, the word on the street is the bows on the left. The King Cobra tends to come at a little bit longer, or considerably longer draw length than it's supposed to be. So even though it's 29 inches, the actual draw length might actually be a little bit more, which would definitely bias it towards greater speeds. And again, this one um, on 28 and a half definitely feels like 28 and a half to me anyway. I haven't measured on a draw board. So let me go ahead and shoot both of these bows through. I think the one on the right is far more comfortable to shoot, while the one on the left is not, but it will definitely be faster. All right, 655 grain arrow, 82 probably pound King Cobra TF. And uh, this is what it does, 29 inch draw length. Stiff draw, but it has a valley. Two hundred and seventy four feet per second. All right, let's try the DEF CON. I'm starting to wonder if it's coming down in a little bit under 80 pounds. I have not actually put this one on a scale, even though it's an 80 pound bow. I just feel, but it is definitely heavier than 70 pounds. The King Cobra did. Um, 274. 253. Let's do them both back-to-back -back one last time. All right, so I made the accusation that this one has a little bit longer draw length. I'm going to have um, my son film in a little closer and look at my face and see how much further back it comes. Dip draw. That was 264, but it hit my sleeve that time. Let me go ahead and shoot one more time through. All right, I'm going to keep my left arm straightened out better. I was trying to give you a better representation of maybe how long the draw length was. Hit 274 on the first time. this does. Two seventy three. So we got two seventy three, two seventy five when I have the best form. And when it hits my sleeve I'm knocking it down by five to ten feet per second. It takes a lot to those five inch brace heights are more likely to hit your sleeve. Let me go ahead and shoot the depth call draw on this one. This one should is definitely shorter, feel shorter, but let's see what it does. Yeah, you can see if I stretch my arm out, it's definitely shorter quite a bit. This is what I have to do when I'm shooting the Cobra. Push my arm back a little bit. Do 
single cell is probably shorter by a good inch. And we're hitting 250. We've got 253. I'm almost betting there's a good inch, inch and a half difference between these two bows and draw length. And that's probably where most of the speed differences are coming from. It tends to be better for accuracy to be at your draw length or even a little bit shorter. If you start getting a little longer, your accuracy can definitely decay. I find myself, if I practice a lot, I can be very accurate in my 20 to 30 yards, regardless of the bow, as long as you really know what you're doing with that bow and you've been shooting a lot. Obviously, if you're talking about winning a competition somewhere, you got to get that draw length as perfect as possible. And, and in my opinion, the biggest differences between the speed of these two bows is that one's 28 and a half inches, probably more legit. Because I'm more of a 29 inch draw person, I'm guessing. And I'm guessing that even though they are claiming 29 inches on the King Cobra, he's really close to 29 and a half. All right, to quickly summarize, this bow is definitely the more comfortable one to shoot. This one does have a valley and a lot faster, but again, it has a lot to do with the draw length. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll obviously put another one up again.